look, wherever I walk there's cape weed. It's wonderful stuff, it's everywhere I walk. In comic books they always have flowers wherever the kids walk. Wherever I walk there are flowers. They're fantastic, they're just everywhere. That's an Australian raven, that sound. Look. See that cockatoo, where is it? Over there somewhere. Yeah, see that cockatoo. I always like a cockatoo. They eat cape weed, you know, they eat the seeds of cape weed. So do other parrots. Certain parrots eat the seeds of cape weed and those cockatoos will also eat the uh, green shoots of uh, the fleshy sort of stems of cape weed. They will. I know that if horses eat cape weed or cattle they can get something. Is it called string halt or something? They, they get some funny disease from eating too much cape weed that makes their legs go off funny or walk in the wrong direction or something. I live way out to Bilio, don't I, where nothing much happens. But a cockatoo is eating something. It's eating a thistle or something. I can't wait to get my high definition camera. What's it doing over there? Probably eating sow thistle or a scotch thistle. Probably sow thistle. So everywhere I look and everywhere I walk, there's cape weed. Gorgeous. Look, I've seen re uh, red rumped parrots eating this. This is the flower head of Cape weed. See those seeds? Those red rumped parrots and cockatoos will eat these. They're an important food for parrots, apparently. That must be the seeds there. Those hard things in the middle, not the fluffy bits. The fluffy bits must be to make them wind. Oh no. Yes, there must. No, that hard thing is where the seeds come out of, I see. So they're windborne, but there's enough seed there for birds, apparently. There's some with the seeds still intact, look. Yes, I can feel seeds in there. This is what parrots eat. The seeds, yes. or from the cape weed, so they're an important source of food for parrots. They're not from Australia, they're from South Africa, from the Cape. But I've noticed parrots eat them and that's an important thing to notice. A lot of people hate weeds, I don't. So if you've got a caged bird and you live in California or somewhere where the cape weed is everywhere, Pick them some cape weed seed heads and you'll make your, your caged birds happy. Caged birds like sow thistle too. Look at that. Red rumped parrots, cockatoos, rosellas probably. Possibly galahs. Certainly cockatoos and red rumped parrots will eat cape weed seed. And as I said, cockatoos will eat the sort of fleshy parts of the lower stem something. I see a whole mass of cockatoos pecking at the, uh, at the this part on cape weed, the fleshy part down here somewhere. I'm not sure what they're doing, whether they're eating. But there's plenty of juice and everything. So they're an important source of, of parrot food. Oh, 
Well, that's it, focus. So that's what a cake weed flower head looks like, seed head. So soft and fluffy. No wonder they're everywhere, just like dandelions, they get blown everywhere, don't they? It's worth the parrot's while, apparently, to come and collect them. Look at that. I wish they came in more colours, though. I mean, I like the yellow ones, but why can't there be orange ones and sh shades of orange and shades of yellow? They all seem to be exactly the same colour, but they probably aren't if I compared them, I suppose, scientifically. Anyway, it's free parrot food. Of course, when parrots are on the ground, they are a bit in danger of, of being caught by cats and things, aren't they? They are. They are a little in danger. Red-rumped parrots are so green, even though they're called red-rumped, they're so green that uh, they can hide well in the grass. I don't think a cat would bother a cockatoo, but any other birds that, well, small parrots especially are more in danger, I think. That's the sound of a possible bird you can hear in the background and, and a raven. I've got all the time in the world to look at these daisies. I have. These things remind me of golf balls. Look, it looks a bit like a golf ball. Look, it looks a bit like a golf ball, doesn't it? Just a little bit like a golf ball. A golf ball typewriter. Prize specimens here for daisy chains or cut flowers. The sunshine is so strong. That's better. Look at them in the shadow. Aren't they lovely? Good for making daisy chains. What you do is you take a, a daisy, make a, a long slot in it with your finger thumbnail, and then thread another, thread another daisy through it. Let's see. So should make a cut with our thumbnail, like that, and slide the other stem through there, in theory. Come on, go through. You can do it with clover, of course, too. Clover, it works very well with to make a little a hairdress for yourself, a headpiece. There we are. That's a beautiful daisy chain. Isn't that lovely? You could wear that around your person. Make a nice tiara for yourself so you could be Queen of the May. Except it's not May, is it? It's October, down under. 
See you then.